Hey, 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 Sneaky Link's back again for a third time tonight. The time tonight, I've gone back to Tiny Core. This is Tiny Core 2.6, release candidate 4. I'm going to have a quick look round. Now, on the desktop, nothing's actually changed that much. See, I'll open the panel. Not too much different, really. It detects the internet straight away, which is the bit I really like, which is really good. Please remember also that, to close the boxes, you click on the left-hand X, not the right hand one, otherwise they'll all start piling up. Anyway, to do stuff in a tiny core, we first go to the app browser and then click on connect. Then all of a sudden you'll get billions and trillions of different downloads. So bear in mind tiny core don't come with anything, it's just a, a desktop app basically. Well it's not a desktop app, it is an operating system, but it doesn't come with anything at all. Some of the other ones we've looked at earlier, they've come with like uh, sound recorders, web and that. This doesn't come with any of that, but you do get internet connection. So what we've done, we've got a Firefox here. And we're going to download Firefox, because you do need internet access, don't you? Even on a system like this. Bear in mind I'm running from the disk here. So what happened, we click on install. And it'll start downloading all the libs and stuff it needs. Now you could be here some time. It does need quite a few to run a new Firefox. So what I've done... I've actually cut that bit of video and we got near the end. So there we go, that was the last Firefox bit. It starts it. And there we go, installed successfully. Da -da 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 -da. Super duper. So I'm going to close the app browser and we we'll click on the Firefox icon and see what it looks like. Five, four, ooh, before one, even better. We've made it slightly larger, that's what them boxes are up there for. The clear one at the end just actually minimises it. So anyway. What do we do? We'll close that. Where should we go? Now, normally I'd go to the Burbicut or Adiv or something like that, wouldn't I? But no, Firefox is 5. I can't believe it. I think I've been using it forever and ever and ever. So, anyway, here we have one of the new open source videos. So, what I'm going to do, we're going to click on it and see if it plays. And you know what? It does. I was quite impressed. Very impressed indeed. So, the story of. Internet goes down. Never mind. But it does work, so that's the good thing about it. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to get rid of the browser, basically. And we'll do something else. Now, the browser doesn't come with any sound or any flash. Now, this is what you do when you want to install that sort of stuff. So we go back to the app browser, click Connect. I'm going to run down, and normally we go down to Get Flash. But what I'm going to do first is go to the Firefox one again. It's... Ah, that was my mistake. I thought some more information was on there before about uh, using Flash in it, but obviously, no, I was wrong. Because it's here. Look. Get Flash. Now, it's from Adobe, so it's not free, but it is sort of, if you know what I mean. Now, if you read there, you must have already downloaded the browser and OSS, and you must have started the browser, and you must OSS in started with the sound menu option on. So that's what you've got to do. So what I'm going to do is install Flash first. Now this doesn't actually install Flash, it downloads the installer. Okay, only the installer. So what I do do its stuff. I've cut the video a bit just to make it a bit smaller, otherwise the videos will be far too long. But there, uh, get Flash 10 TCZ is done. So we'll close that. So we're going to scroll down again and we're going to go down to OSS. Well, there's a minute. Okay, here we go. We need and I've gone past it. Oh, you silly sausage, Neil. There it is. OSS. So, what we're going to do? Well, of course, we're going to install it. So, we click on install, and down it comes the line. Super. Now, I didn't actually cut this bit, so you know it's a small file. And there you go. Successfully installed. So, we'll close him. Eventually, I'm going to close the app browser again. Okay. Now, if we right click, go to applications, and there we have OSS. Turn the sound on, and that's that bit done. Secondly, right click again, applications, get Flash 10. Now, normally when you're installing Flash in this sort of environment, you normally get a bit of a text coming down. But on this bit, bear in mind it's a release candidate. You didn't get anything. Nope. But all of a sudden, it does its stuff, and nothing seems to have happened. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to File, and install Local. Just to make sure, just in case I've done something wrong. 
click on Flash 10, click on OK, click on Install. There we go, loaded the module, super duper. Nearly went to the wrong side again there, silly me. So what should we do? We're going to open up the Firefox. There, yeah, lovely. Looking good, looking good. Where should we go? We'll go YouTube this time, just for a change. There we go, here. La, 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 la. See, the, the browser's really, really... F I've nearly swore then. It's very, very fast. We'll go to Unbox and Nokia, because it's just there, basically. And yes, the video's running really nice. That's good resolution. Resolution is really good here. Okay, you've got no sound there, but that's for legal reasons. But hey, who gives a do 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 do? So, what else can you do with Tinycore? Now, bear in mind we're running from the live CD. You didn't want to really do this all the time, but if you had to, you have to. So, if you wanted Abbey Word, for instance, it's 4.2, yeah, plus all the extras you need for it. So, what I've done here, I've clicked to install it, but I've just fooled it quite a bit. Now, if anybody really wants, I will show you how to install TinyCore to your drive or to a directory or partition. But yeah, you'll have to ask me for that one, I think. We'll close. And there we go. We'll get our icon for Abbey Word. So basically, you're all ready to go on whatever computer you want, anywhere in the world, and all from RAM, really. All from RAM. So I think it's super. I don't know what version of Abbey Word is. Let's have a quick look. Go down to Help. Abbey Word. It's 268, so that's super cool, really. No, I like it. Really, really like it. All the stuff's under the hood that's been done, but hey, Tiny Core is the tiniest core ever. Sneaky Link's out.